Hello and welcome to another episode of D-Dubs Plays. We're currently looking at the uh, nice little residential area that we built in the last episode. Uh, last episode was a bit of an experiment really. Lots of rambling, lots of stuff in there that I probably should have cut, normally would have cut, but I thought I'd try something different and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Now in this episode we're going to be starting off over here and we're going to be looking at putting an interchange in um, along the highway just here. We're also going to be adding some residential area and if we get time I'll do a decorating pass in the suburban area that we built last time. Now the reason that we need to keep bumping up the population is our little ore industry area over here still sitting at one star and the reason for that is lack of workers. Now obviously we do have all of this nice new housing here but as you can see we're losing some population down here. Now, in addition to wanting to level up that ore industry area, there are also a few quite important things that I want to unlock in the milestones. And as you can see, we are 1200, well, 1150 away from hitting the next milestone, which is quite a, quite a gap. But we will be unlocking the new area, the leisure specialization that I'm waiting for to do the beach build, and critically the high density zoning which is going to make increasing the population in the future m much much easier but uh, we can't use it until we've unlocked it so once i've got the layout of the interchange worked out we will be popping in some more residential between that interchange and the district that we built in the last episode there so without further ado let's get into it and i'm going to just prepare the land and i'll be back with you in a moment so now that we've got some flat ground to work with it's time to start thinking about how we're going to lay out this trumpet interchange i want to come across the highway at the steepest angle that it's going to allow me to put in which will be that okay so after a little bit of playing around i managed to find a spot where i could put in a nice parallel road and now we have two roads that uh, lead over the highway nicely just uh, just exactly where i want them so next up we need to put in the exit slip road which will be our starting point for building the uh, trumpet part of the interchange which is the large loop part okay so this point here i think is where we want the center point to be on our trumpet loop so we're going to put a little road there just take that off and that off and we're going to build our trumpet loop out from this point here we'll select our curved roads we'll go up by 10 i think and then we'll go up by 10 and we'll go up one elevation change and then we'll just repeat that all the way around to this point and then we'll take this one to just about there and meet it up with that road there perfect okay now we're going to come into this point here at one elevation step so we're at the same level and we're going to take note that we're two to the right of that node so we're going to do exactly the same thing as we've just done except we're going to add two to our measurements so up by 12 and along by 12 at one elevation step Now we have beautifully smooth trumpet ends to our interchange and we just need to add the slip road on this side. And we're gonna come off of this node here and just meet up with the road guidelines. Please meet up that the road guidelines for that, which were hard to see, but they were there. And yeah, that looks good. Now, thanks to the magic of editing, a lot of the trees over here have disappeared and we can put some more roads in. We're gonna bring these down with the straight road tool. What about 10? I think 10's a good slope. And we'll do the same here. There we go, and I'll come out another 10. Then I'm gonna add a very short section of road here at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to use that 
as my guideline for the slip road on this side, which we will take to there, perfect. Now on this side, we'll just bring a straight road out until it's level with that node, just like so. And then we'll just curve it in until it matches the length of the road on the opposite side, like so. And then we just put in our connections. Now we just need to switch the uh, directions around so that everything uh, is facing the right way. And now we have a lovely looking trumpet interchange. The only thing left to do is to figure out how we're going to join it to the road network. Now on console edition, these two roads are too close together to be able to join them conveniently. So the best thing that we can do is to widen them out slightly and plug them into a roundabout, which we'll put just about here. And I'll need to use the magic of editing to prep this space ready for it. And there we go, the magic of editing has done the job. Now, if we choose a start point that's exactly between these two road guidelines, give it just a little bit of space so we can extend the road out towards the roundabout, maybe a little bit further out than that. Um, yeah, we'll go about there. And then we'll just do uh, five by five sections to make the roundabout like so. And we'll just take some dirt roads and run it from the nodes to brace the roundabout otherwise it will deform as we connect roads to it we'll switch the arrows around so that the uh, roundabouts face in the right direction and then we'll just pop in a couple of connecting roads just like so now i've realized that it's almost but not quite complete there's one thing I have forgotten to do which is to pop in the highway slip roads in in place of some of these one-way roads so we're going to turn that into highway slip road we're going to turn that into highway slip road and we're going to go from this point here and this point here and make those highway slip road so there you go that is a trumpet interchange i think it looks quite nice it's obviously in need of some decoration which we will get to of course but uh, it's going to help serve our traffic from our farming industry which is going to be down here our forestry industry which will eventually be over here and some more of our residential area which i'm going to put in here in just a moment okay now we need to connect the interchange to the arterial up here so let's start at the roundabout end and we're just going to do a little bit more editing magic and get rid of these trees and poof they're gone magic okay so i think we are actually going to start with the bridge over the highway which we will put just here and I'm going to change it up a little bit here. Now, I've mentioned before that I have all of the available DLC, and that does include the Bridges and Piers Content Creator Pack. So I'm going to use the American Four Lane Truss Bridge and just uh, give it a little bit of variety in my bridges. Okay, so then we'll just curve this one round to the uh, roundabout here. Then we'll work on the other side over here. And we'll just pull a four lane road out to join up with what we've got. Okay, we're connected, but I'm still not entirely happy. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take this back 
two nodes on both sides. And we're going to put in a nice curve along here. Beautiful. And then we're going to join up this road. With its own little curve. Perfect. Then I think on this side we're just going to pop this one out here. And we will come off of this node right here. We'll go all the way up to there. And join on there. And then we'll join this one on here. That one there. And it isn't much, but it is something that we can uh, start to work with for laying out some more housing. Now I've noticed, quite, uh, quite pleased to see, that our population is now at 6,170. As you can see, we are now only 330 away from hitting the big town milestone so it's not going to take a lot to push that population up to where we need it. I have however noticed that we are in need of an elementary school and I did leave a space for schools over in this new district so we are going to pop in the elementary school that uses the European theme and I think we will pop it I think we'll pop it right there with a little bit of space around it. We can put in some uh, play areas or something where we come to do the decorating pass around here. A uh, small, small park might go well, but we'll figure that out when we get to it. And now it's time to think about how we're going to lay out the residential area over here. Now I don't want it to come too far down here because we need to leave plenty of room for the farm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this node here as kind of a boundary point. I'll bring a road into here and we'll curl it around a little bit. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to bring it in at an angle. I'm going to go about there and then we'll bring it around to about there. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'll bring another road in from here. We'll curl that down to about about there, I think. We'll join the two up. Um, let's get a little bit a little bit closer over here. Yeah, we'll join them there, and we'll join them about there as well and we'll just yeah we'll just extend this out this way a little bit to about there yeah I think we can get a nice little housing district in there we will need to upgrade the highways to highway with sound barrier uh, because otherwise we're going to be making our citizens sick with the noise pollution okay so i added sound barriers all the way along the highway there just for consistency uh, make it look consistent along that length and now we need to just bring this road out i think we'll follow that same angle bring it up to the road guidelines there and join it up to that one yeah that looks good i like that and uh, i think we can just do a couple more little streets I'm looking at this and I am thinking this is screaming out to be made into a nature reserve. We've got a little cave at the end over here. Uh, we've got some interesting terrain that we can work around. And uh, yeah, I like that idea. I like the idea of turning that into a nature reserve. So uh, yeah, we'll get to that. In the meantime, we will put in some residential and we'll have a little chat. Now I'm just going to pull the uh, district painting across this new area and then I'll 
just jump in and do a little bit of zoning. Don't worry, I'm not going to force you to watch too much zoning. I will keep the little chat nice and short. It's just a lot easier to talk when I don't really need to concentrate on what I'm doing. So I was uh, recently watching a video by a content creator called Gretels and I um, was really, really inspired by the way that she edits um, to get a lot more creative with my editing. And hopefully that shows in the uh, trumpet interchange build that I've uh, actually already edited. I'm really, really happy with the way that it's come out. Um, yeah, I tried something new and I think it really worked. Uh, of course, I do value your feedback. Um, I might be a little bit biased. <laughs> so uh, please do get in the comments. Let me know if you liked it, what you thought of it. Um, as I say, I value the feedback and it, it's only going to help me make the channel better if I... Uh, if I'm getting genuine feedback from you guys. I will uh, link Gretel's channel in the description. So if you want to see um, her content firsthand, then uh, please do go and take a look. I've also added a little transition animation thing, which is uh, in this episode. I uh, managed to get that done much more quickly than I expected. So uh, again, let me know what you think. As I say, I really do value your feedback. Um, I mentioned in the last episode that I had the storyboard done for my new intro sequence and I have actually started working on that but as I said in the last episode it is going to take me a while to get that finished um, but yeah it's, it's underway and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it actually making it into an episode I uh, hope you guys are too um, and the final thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, an idea that I had um, it might be a good idea, um, but I'd definitely like to get your feedback and see what you guys think. I had the idea that I could do a monthly gaming news update video where I could just cover the latest headlines in gaming news, um, let you know what the various platforms are offering for their free games um, over the coming month and uh, whether there are any notable uh, sales or discounts on games. Um, yeah, I thought that would be a, a cool idea and uh, yeah, I want, I want you guys to let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in watching, if you think that's a good idea. Um, and if, if so, then uh, yeah, I'll start working on something for June. But yeah, get in the comments, let me know what you think. Um, that about wraps it up for the little chat this week, so uh, you don't have to watch any more of me zoning. And uh, we'll get into the rest of the episode. I'll uh, finish zoning this off camera. Now I did say at the beginning of the episode that uh, my plan was to do a decorating pass in this district. Um, I have had a little change of heart. Uh, this district is now this district, which is somewhat larger. And in addition to that, we have our nice new trumpet interchange. Now that's an awful lot of decorating for a single episode, so I think we're going to do the decorating in the district on our next episode and we'll jump into a time lapse of decorating the trumpet interchange.
Okay, so I think our trumpet interchange is looking really quite nice now. Now, we do have a little bit of a problem. Uh, we've got no residents coming in because we have no residential demand. And the reason that we have no residential demand is our unemployment is at 21%. Now, we've got some commercial demand and we've got lots of industrial demand, but I really don't want any more of this generic industry at the moment. Um, once this levels up, we will have some more jobs available, but we're, uh, where are we with that? We are, we still need 15 and it's been bouncing around between 10 and 15 for a while. Um, a few more residences should push it up, but uh, yeah, I need the, I need the jobs before I can get the residents. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna put some commercial in somewhere. I can fulfill some of this industrial demand with offices once we hit the next milestone, which we are actually really, really close to. Yeah, only 50 more population needed. But what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Um, okay, I've got a little bit of space here that I think I can uh, get away with putting a little bit of commercial zoning in. So that is what we're gonna do for right now. Just gonna stick a big lump of it there. Do you know what, we'll go a little bit further up as well. I know I'm gonna to need to probably remove some of this um, once I'm putting the train station in, but for now, it can fulfill some of our employment need. So I'm gonna bump up the game speed and I'll be back in a moment. And there we go, we finally hit the big town milestone. So we have the new area, which is gonna allow us to expand a bit. We can put a campus in when we finally decide where we wanna put the campus. We've got Metro, which is gonna help us move people around much easier. We have the leisure specialization, which means I can finally finish that beach area that I was planning from episode one or two. There is high density zoning, which means not only can we push our population up quicker, but we can also deal with those uh, unemployment issues that we've been experiencing. We can put in the incineration plant, which will help us deal with our garbage and the earthquake sensor, which um, will help us spread our power with, uh, without putting in those ugly pylons everywhere. A few other things as well, but uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Okay, so now that we've unlocked the new area, let's purchase it. And I decided I was gonna go with this tile just here. And now we have a nice new area to expand into. We've got the uh, access to rail here, for once we've unlocked uh, rail. We've got a nice big section of coastline that we can put some fishing industry along. And then we've got this lovely area to expand our city into. And the plan for this area, I think, is going to be to do a kind of old town district using the European theme and some of the unique buildings that have a more classical architectural style. I think that will uh, look quite nice. But we've got a little way to go before we get there. And the uh, first thing that we're gonna do in our next episode is finally work on this beach area that I've been waiting to do for pretty much the entire series now. We're gonna put some nice leisure buildings along the road that we've got here and some decorations on the beach. And we're gonna put some of uh, the higher density buildings in along the cliff top here. And it looks like we've had a little fire there, but uh, I'm sure that'll look much nicer by the time we get to it. Hopefully we'll also get our first level up of this industry area in the next episode and we can start working on uh, making this look a little bit nicer. And we have lots of decoration to do over here. So uh, yeah, I think I've got a pretty solid plan for the next episode. Now I've probably got a few more minutes that I could use, but I think I'm just gonna call it an episode here and I'm gonna finish up with a nice shot of our lovely new trumpet interchange. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the uh, new editing techniques I've been uh, playing about with and uh, I will catch you in the next one.